Welcome to the Edges Grow Veggies podcast. We're a group of students working toward helping you learn about gardening and food. And thanks to our sponsors at the Green Initiative Fund and Agi Compass at UC Davis for supporting our work. We are grateful for your support. This podcast is split into three parts. Part one is all about what programs are available to UC Davis students to access basic needs. And part two is where we have a conversation about our favorite busy day meals. In our next episode, part three, we have a conversation about how the pandemic changed everything. Today we are trying out this new format, so let us know in the comments if you would like to listen to more. Now, on to today's topic. My name is Stephanie Sai, and I use she, her, or they, them pronouns. And today we're talking about one of the most important things in a college student's life, and that's food, especially affordable food. And unfortunately, according to the most recent study at UC campuses in 2020, food insecurity still affects 39% of the student population. And this is a pretty high proportion of students who don't know where their next meal will come from or whether their food would run out before they have enough money to buy more. Fortunately, UC Davis has established several programs to help alleviate food insecurity, and I have an opportunity today to speak with the people behind these programs. And so, let's get started. I am first joined by Faith from Edgy Compass. Hello everyone, my name is Faith and I'm a third year MPB major and my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the co-manager for Aggie Compass, which is also known as the Basic Needs Center. And our overall goal is to help mitigate the effects of food and housing insecurity on campus. Next, Sergio from The Pantry. Hey y'all, my name is Sergio. I use he, him pronouns. I represent the ACCD Pantry. Uh, our pantry was established to make sure we help students who are struggling financially to make sure that they can actually obtain their degrees from UC Davis by giving them the basic necessities they deserve to have like food, toiletries, like soap, toothpaste, toilet paper, and all that good stuff. And now, Gianna from the UC Davis Student Farm Fresh Focus Program. Hi, my name is Gianna. I use she, her pronouns, and um, I'm representing my program at the Student Farm at the UCD Student Farm called Fresh Focus, which is a food access program um, in our student farm. And finally, Sam, an intern at the UC Davis Student Farm and representative of Stop Waste. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm a third year environmental science major. I use she, her pronouns, and the organization I'm representing is for a program called Stop Waste, which is a public agency in Alameda that focuses on reducing food waste at the household level and collaborating with local organizations to increase community resilience to climate change. Thank you everyone for joining me today during this really busy week, but um, I know it's a little awkward with so many people here, so let's try this. Um, My first question to you all is, where can students find you and what can they expect to experience from your program? So Sam, let's start with you. What does Stop Waste do? Yeah, so, The program's targeted towards families with young children since they're shown to be the biggest food wasters, but I've also found its resources really helpful at the individual and small household level. Um, It's located in the Bay Area, but community members, students, and partnerships can all benefit from its resources, regardless of where you're from. Cool. So, um, so if UC Davis students are kind of interested in getting involved, where can they sort of join? Um, so you can probably email me and I could send the resources, but also if you just search up Stop Waste Alameda, there's a website that you can sign up for. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks for sharing. Um, let's go around the virtual table. Great question. Yeah, definitely. Um, so our pantry is located at MU 154. That's right between the Aggie Compass and the MU Market. And when students come to our pantry, they definitely will get their hands on basic necessities. We're talking fresh produce, dairy products, bread, uh, toothpaste, toilet paper, soap, conditioner, literally any basic necessity that you might think of that you need, the pantry will give it to you. Um, if you want to join our pantry, um, all you have to do is go on the ACCD vacancy website and 
you could go to our section of student volunteers, fill out the volunteer um, application, or since it is going to be over the summer, we are going to be hiring some new staff. So if you want to get, um, if you want to join the pantry, you could get uh, applied to many, one of our many staff positions, and you can even apply to be our director for the upcoming year or our assistant director as well. So yeah, the pantry has a lot of positions um, going on, and definitely you will have the opportunity to join if you want to join. Next door from the pantry to Agi Compass. On the, I think that's the MU East Wing. So on the first floor of the MU Memorial Union, um, you can come in um, and we're open right now from nine to five and nine to three on Fridays. Um, that time is subject to change when fall quarter is. Um, so basically, we do have all kind of resources that students can access. We have our financial resources. We have our food security resources where we. Um, where we have food available immediately. So for example, our, our fruit and veggie program. We also have CalFresh where we help students apply for CalFresh who are eligible. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. And can you just clarify what CalFresh is? Yeah, so CalFresh is like the, uh, I think the federal name for it is SNAP. Um, and in California, you know, we like to rename things. So we call it, you know, CalFresh. Um, so it's basically a monthly um, prepaid card. I like to think about it like a mini debit card where um, if you qualify for it, um, you can always check your financial aid package. There's always going to be some type of like notes or like a fine print on your My Awards that would say, or you qualify for CalFresh. So if you do qualify for CalFresh, all you can do is just give us a call or you can always um, come join our remote session because we do have remote um, um, Zoom sessions for students. So we can pre-screen you just to make sure that you qualify. And once you, you've been pre-screened, um, you will just go ahead and apply for the CalFresh application. It's a very short and easy application. And once that's done, you would get an interview by the county, and which would be Yolo County. And if approved, then you would just be getting some type of um, payment, you get a card um, mailed to you. And in that card, I think it's up to $250. Um, it depends. It's based on like, obviously your income. Um, and you can use that card at any um, stores or grocery stores that accept um, the EBT card or like the CalFresh card. And um, it, it reloads monthly. Um, but every six months, I think you do have to do some type of verification um, just so that you can keep getting those benefits. So it's like a benefits card up to $250 where you can use at any qualifying store to get um, uh, food. Um, there are some little restrictions here and there where you can't use it to buy hot foods and stuff like that. But for the most part, um, most of the grocery stores um, in Davis do accept it. And even the MU market also does accept it. So um, it's a pretty cool resource that if you qualify for it, I 100% um, encourage you to apply. Oh, wow. CalFresh sounds like a really good program for students. What else does Agi Compass have? Uh, we also have some cooking classes, um, health, some healthy and low-cost recipes that you can find on our Instagram page, uh, also on our website. Uh, for housing um, resources, we also have our rapid rehousing program where we kind of like aid um, college students who are um, who are, who are in need of um, stable housing. So the college focus, we have it rehousing program. It's a program that provides safe and stable housing for um, on our students as well as a meal plan um, and also intense case management um, that is focused on holistic and academic success. Um, we also do provide um, emergency housing for students who are um, experiencing homelessness as well as um, we have a list of affordable housing that students can have access to. We also do have some free legal services and also immediate mental health resources also. Um, so that's just a few of the resources that we have to offer. If you want more information, you can always visit our website at aggiecompass.ucdavis.edu. And um, to get involved, our right now we don't have much volunteers, so um, we only have um, paid student workers. So our application cycle uh, opens up yearly, but right now it's closed. So you should just keep an eye out for whenever we open our application cycle again to be part of the team member. Uh, at, uh, basically, it's so yeah, that's pretty much what we do. And last but not least, Gianna, what does the student farm do? 
So physical location of the student farm is many people, many students don't know, um, but, it's, uh, but it's where the Extension Center Drive and Orchard Park Drive is. Um, and, or you can just uh, type in Google map, Bowley Plant Science Building. Uh, we are not publicly open yet because of the pandemic, but we're hoping to open it more. Um, but you should definitely go visit the ecological garden we have because once students visit there, then they always say it's their favorite uh, part of the campus from, from then on. <laughs> and, or you can just uh, find us on, um, on Google, UC Davis Student Farm, and then there is a website that you can, you can read about our programs, our goals, our principals, partners. Uh, that's a good uh, way to know about Student Farm. And for UCD students, you can uh, access our food from the pantry, the fruit and veggie up, um, and Solano Park campus housing for students with families. And we also deliver to Campus Regis, which is a community fridge. Um, yeah, we, uh, we send our fresh produce to those uh, resource programs and you can just pick up any produce from there. Also, and hopefully we are really hoping to give out more to other campus resource programs um, like student centers, because we use we used to um, for the next fall quarter. So hopefully we can do that too. And um, you can also uh, volunteer or intern at the student farm, and in particular our Fresh Focus program. Um, we are we are food access program of the student farm, but we also address um, food security, food justice. The students learn about those um, those topics, and then we start conversation with our partners and our uh, the people around us. Also, we do a little bit of farming too. Um, we have our own small bed, and we can so we have um, opportunities for hands on farming experience. And we we um, consider ourselves um, as a bridge between the student farm and all of you, because um, we deliver uh, the fresh produce to many people. And um, but not only that, we also focus on food waste reduction, like like stop waste, uh, where our produce comes from is from gleaning from the market garden. Um, sometimes they have extra, sometimes they have um, ugly food, but then those imperfect food can be perfect food for other people. So um, we're also reducing food waste and, and also addressing food uh, security and access. Yeah, if you can intern or volunteer with us, that would be also great. I want to say a big thank you to everyone for sharing everything that you all do and I'm really thankful that all these programs and resources are available to students like me and you. It really makes me wonder how I could remember them all. So if you want to connect with any of our speakers today, follow their socials. Agicompass is on Instagram at Agicompass and their website is agicompass.ucdavis.edu spelled A-G-G-I-E compass ucdavis.edu. The ASUCD Pantry is at the Pantry at UC Davis, and their website is thepantry.ucdavis.edu. You can contact Sergio at Instagram with the tag at Senator underscore Bocardo Aguilar, spelled Senator underscore B O C A R D O A G U I L A R. The UCD Student Farm is at UCD Student Farm, and the Fresh Focus program is at UCD Fresh Focus. The main student farm website is at asi.ucdavis.edu forward slash programs forward slash sf. Stop Waste is at Stop Waste on Instagram. And now on to my favorite part of the discussion, recipes. 
what do you all like to eat on a, like a regular busy day of your lives? So I know like when I'm really busy, it's, it's hard to cook <laughs> and I wind up defaulting to like ramen or some rice and beans. <laughs> but how about all of you? Uh, I to go. Oh, oh no, go no, go ahead, girl. It's okay. Well, go. <laughs> all three of us <laughs> unmuted, um, which means we're very eager to share. And I was really eager to share because so I am from Korea, um, just like Lemon. Oh, and by the way, Lemon is Gianna's pet dog. You can listen to the fun little story about Lemon in our next episode. And there's a, a saying in Korea um, saying in Korea, Koreans. Koreans live by rice power. Um, I like that. Um, 한국인은 밥심. <laughs> yeah, it literally means it, like rice power. So yeah, so I, I totally agree. And so I try to um, always have my rice cooked in my rice cooker. I usually eat brown rice, short grain brown rice or medium. <laughs> And um, because it's easy and it's also nutritious. Uh, so when, when it's busy, I just eat bowl of rice with seaweed, uh, the nori or kim. And sometimes I just mix uh, some little bit of soy sauce and sesame oil, just mix it and just eat it um, with some, I don't know, anything that I have like veggies or, or tofu um yeah Ooh, my go-to that good. <laughs> rice <laughs> i should try that sometime <laughs> well that's just busy food don't <laughs> how about others i have to jump on the rice train too it's a staple for me like it's the easiest carb to have and you I usually just pair it with like a bun protein and vegetables. I feel like that's like the simplest dish anyone can make. Um, if I need to make a quick meal, sometimes I'll make noodles because that's also really simple with like a simple chicken or dashi broth topped with one egg and any vegetable I have. So a lot of my meals just kind of depend on what I have in my fridge at the time, but it's perfect. You can just use everything all at once and then you don't have to waste anything. Same. <laughs> I guess we're all rice fans because I also do rice. <laughs> um, I do breaded chicken and I cook some steamed rice and some steamed vegetables in with the rice in the pressure cooker. And that, that's it. You know, you get your veggies, your grains and your protein all in one. So that's what I do when I am in a rush. Um, but I live in a dorm, so I can't cook. So that sucks. But I eat an apple. That works as well um, when I am busy because I, I can't cook. So I could just get like a vegetable or two from the dorm. I'm from the DC. So yeah. I'm going to up off the rice train here and say pasta. Um, you know, you can use any type of sauce. You can make it your own. Like there's just so much things you can do with pasta. So I would go with pasta. You're so right though, pasta. I think it's my second choice. And I actually got like a lot of uh, spaghetti or pasta from pantry or, or fruit and veggie up and even pasta sauce. Please, how, how do you like to make your pasta? Uh, that's a good question. I do mine so like, okay, it depends. Um, so obviously there's the regular red sauce and there is the Alfredo sauce. Um, but I also do like to bake my um, baby tomatoes and um, put some shredded chicken in there also. We like a bunch of spices uh, and just put my ma pasta in there and just mix it all together. Like that's my favorite kind of pasta. But um, yeah, I, it's just, just so much things you can do with it. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, like what kind of spices do you use? Like I, I really love cooking pasta as well. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I use um, garlic salt. Um, I use the regular Cheyenne pepper. Um, I use 
obviously oil. <laughs> um, well, what else do I use? Um, I use, I don't know if you know about this, it's kind of like the non-chicken kind of like seasoning. Um, but I don't know, I'm African, so like that's like a staple in African households. So, yeah, that's like like my secret ingredients. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Um, I haven't really had much African cuisine, so I I, I kind of want to look it up. Um, yeah, you should. It's pretty good. Cool, cool. Yeah, so it, it looks like our, our busy foods tend to be like rice or pasta mixed with whatever is available and some spices. And I think that makes sense. It's fast. <laughs> Yeah, so um, did I did I miss anything? Is there anything else anyone would like to share that I haven't got to or, or you haven't um, mentioned yet? Yeah, I would like to ask if everyone could drop like their socials or something because um, I like to promote them on my uh, ACCD accounts. Um, I think in the upcoming year or something I want to work on is promoting our basic needs and breaking down any stigmas. And definitely your resources and programs are a good way to achieve that and I want to start promoting them now because not a lot of people know about you know fresh focus I did my research on fresh focus so I knew about it but you kind of have to dig a little bit not a lot of people know about the Aggie compass like that um, or um, stop waste in Alameda Um, so definitely I want to help promote those and yeah thank you guys for dropping them and let me take them screenshots that's a really good idea. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, I totally forgot to ask that. <laughs> Once again, thank you all for joining me on this podcast so early in the morning. I hope you all enjoyed the experience. Tune in to our next one to learn about how everyone adapted to the changes caused by the pandemic. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to leave us some comments or questions. We appreciate the feedback. See the description for everyone's social media handles. And thank you.